Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and if you'd like to apply to be a guest on the show, just head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, so did I have Morgan Taylor on the line? He's co-founder of Jolly SEL. Morgan, welcome to the show. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Adam. All right, Morgan, so excited about today's topic. Really, you're going to tell I – wa- I want to learn more about how you're helping business owners really with getting um, direct backlinks and also some of the stuff that you're doing with Help a Reporter Out. I'm a big fan of that uh, of that uh, website, and I've used it myself in the past. Um, but to, before we get started with that, we'll start this episode the way that we start them all with our Mission Matters Minute. So, Morgan, we at Mission Matters, we amplify stories for entrepreneurs, executives, and experts. That's our mission. Morgan, what mission matters to you? Yeah, so I would say that the most important mission for myself and for the company is to bring what I would consider honest marketing to the hands of any everyday business owner who who might not have a large PR budget uh, they might have been burned in the past by marketers they've worked with selling poor quality SEO products. So our mission is to stick with that, do things in an organic way that won't penalize uh, people who work with us down the line. Um, and so that's really important to us, and it's something that we're going to continue with, um, you know, being somebody who has purchased uh you know, shoddy backlinks myself, you know, I've been victim to that. I definitely understand how that feels. And so we want to continue, continue that and sell marketing services to the right kind of people. And if they're not the right fit, we won't sell it to them. Awesome. Um, Love bringing mission-based entrepreneurs on the line to share, you know, their business, their story, how they're doing, what they're doing, and really what we can all learn together um, and benefit from that information so we can all grow together. So great to have you on. And I guess just to get us kicked off, um, how did you get started in the space? Like, tell me a little bit more about your background. Well, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Me personally, um, you know, I was working as as a bartender several years ago. I started uh, dabbling in content creation, you know, just writing blogs as a side gig. I had my first my first uh, child coming, so I wanted to make some extra income. And this was because I had reconnected with an old an old friend of mine from high school, Greg Hylers, who's the other co-founder at Jolly SEO. We kind of just got together, started doing content work, and made a small little agency out of that, um, and carried on for for a little while until. At one point, we realized, you know, all of these people that are coming to us to have blogs written for them, they're, they're really doing this for marketing purposes and more specifically so that they can improve their how their websites show up on Google. And so we figured, you know, content writing, it's okay. There's not a lot of margins. It's a tough business. If, if any of the listeners have tried it, it's, it can be difficult. Um, so then we, we pivoted to what we do now, which is, uh, building backlinks for people, and a lot of that is using this platform, Help a Reporter Out. Fantastic. So, um, first off, I'll tell you my my first um, experience with Help a Reporter Out. Like, I just I just caught fire. I got so lucky when I first started, and I I always found it in a very good use of my time. And I guess I was just kind of one of those people that when I first started on any of this marketing um, thing, I was like, okay, well, the email comes to me, I reply, and uh, and let's see what happens. And I just had a lot of, you know, luck with it in general. And I got a bunch of large placements pretty quickly. And I've heard many other people say, you know, good things about it as well. So I want to go into that and what you're doing. But first thing, I, I'd like for you to talk maybe just a little bit more on the backlink side of things because I don't I like to start pretty basic on this conversation because I don't want to assume that everybody has been has gone that route or has had the misfortune or fortune um, from the standpoint of getting getting burned and doing the wrong thing so that they can learn what was wrong and now learn what's right Um, (laughs) but maybe just start with that side of things because I don't like the importance of backlinks and, and let's just say high level how they work. Yeah, of course. And, and sorry, I, I kind of, I got carried away there maybe. So, um, you know, a backlink is, is basically, it's just something when a website links to your website or business. Um, and it's one of the main factors that Google or any search engine uses to determine how authoritative your website is. Mm-hmm. So in addition to having content on your website, like blogs, you also want to make sure that you have 
reputable websites mentioning and linking to your website in articles and content they have. This lets Google know that, that your website is something that should be appearing at the top of search results. Uh, it's one of the factors, and so we call those backlinks. Um, and it's these days an important part of, of any online marketing campaign. So now you mentioned, you know, there's things like getting good, uh, reputable backlinks, and then let's just say not so good. Could you maybe give us a, a feel for what that means? Yeah, so what we would consider a reputable backlink might be a publication that's a name brand publication that you've heard of. So if, if say, businessinsider.com was to link to your website in one of their articles, that's much more important than, say, a, I don't know, a local blog on some very niche topic, you know, maybe if you get what I'm saying, like, uh, yeah. I don't know, something like about cats or something like that, you know, that doesn't yeah. get a lot of traffic or web visitors. Yeah. And so what, and so for business owners, like why it should be a, a good reputable part of your, of their, um, of their, what they're doing in terms of putting content out just to make sure I'm understanding this right is because, um, essentially the more, the more links they have going back that are good links to their website, the more reputable that Google is going to say, okay, if other people are linking to this site, then there must be some, you know, there must be content on there that's worth people seeing. So they give it a little bit more credibility. Um, um, because so it's kind of like Google uses that third party validation of bigger sites or not bigger sites, but of other sites that are reputable brands. And the more of those over time can lead to Google saying, OK, yeah, this site, this site has good content. Am I off on my understanding or correct me? Definitely, if I'm wrong. <laughs> no, no, you're spot on. I mean, Google just doesn't have time to check out everyone's website and see if it's a a good website or authoritative website, so they rely on third parties that do that link out exactly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so now you have this this thought process. So, um, and and you create this company. So, Jolly SEO. Tell me, tell me a little bit more about how that formed. Uh, well, like, like I said, the you know we decided to make a pivot to doing digital marketing SEO, search engine optimization, in, in particular. Um, and in even more specifically, we kind of hit on, well, I should give Greg credit here, hit on the idea of using Help a Reporter out uh, specifically to help our clients do this. Um, and for people who haven't heard of Help a Reporter out, it's a, it's a platform like a newsletter that you get. And in that email newsletter, there are journalists, bloggers, site owners looking for basically anyone to contribute on topics that they might be asking about. Now, it could be they're looking for CEOs to talk about leadership. It could They could be looking for business owners to talk about financial topics or, you know, basically anything you can imagine. It could be fitness-related, leisure-related. So a lot of people know about this newsletter uh, because it is very good at, at getting your name out there, not just for getting these backlinks that I mentioned, but also for the PR value of speaking on on these high level websites, but it's, it, it's difficult. And I know you, you, you hit on it right away and you had some success, but not everyone knows how to do this, do this sort of thing themselves. Uh, it requires a specific way of, of, you know, as we call it, pitching a journalist or a blogger. Um, and generally a lot of it is about being just authentic and, and coming up with, with new original topics. But again, it can be difficult. And so we realized that might be an area where people could use a done-for-you service to manage their help or reporter out outreach, um, and like for the purpose of building backlinks or for PR. So that's where we arrived at at our at the first major SEO service that we offered clients. And and for everybody that's listening, just to make sure, like you understand, like the the value of that site and why a journalist, like from a, a reputable, you know, magazine would use that site is we're you know we're way past the days where they're going to you know they may need a very niche answer on something else. So when I was a financial advisor, I had a pretty deep understanding of 
of um, of retirement plans for business owners. And so they, a reporter was looking for that type of information. And if you think about it, um, if you were to, if that reporter was going to go out and look and have to make all these phone calls and try to find somebody like myself that had that much experience, I mean, they that that's just they, they couldn't do it, and not especially not for a, a couple of sentence quote either. Like it's not going to happen, and they can then to do that in every niche isn't really that all that um, time efficient for that journalist. So what they do is on the journalist side of things, they will um, you know subscribe to something like the like the how. Um, so that they can, um, so that they can exactly as the name is out, is, it, um, alludes to, help a reporter out. You're helping the reporter out. So then they're obviously when the reporter heard my pitch, um, they did their background, their due diligence, which then entails probably a couple minute search on Google and LinkedIn and other things to make sure I am who I say I am. And then now their fact checking is just way further along, and so they can make that. So it really is creating a win win scenario and win win service. So now what I see um, Morgan and Morgan's companies doing is they're they're basically now pairing the, the best, you know, the right people with those journalists and then just making it even smoother. Because in my opinion, exactly what you said is correct, Morgan. Most people aren't going to know how to do this. Like most people aren't going to be in media, number one. And then number two, even if they are in media and they do know how to do it, um, do they have the time to keep up with doing it? Because it is a strategy. It's not something that you want to do once and say, oh, look, I got into XYZ, you know, publication, and then that's it. Like, okay, that's good and fine. But as um, as a long term strategy, you want to continue. So if you've had success with it, you want to continue with it. Um, but so that's my take on just the landscape in general and how help a reporter um, works. Do you do you want to add anything to that, Morgan? Or am I off on anything? Because I know that's your space. I'm just giving the surface level of what I know. But that's um, you want to add anything to that? No, no, you're you're very accurate. Um, and just for anyone who might be a bit lost on what we're talking about, I would really recommend it, anyone here who hasn't subscribe for free to help a reporter out and get their newsletter, and you'll see what we're talking about. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I I personally, and I'm although I am in marketing professionally, I don't necessarily consider myself a professional marketer in the same way that Adam would be. I was able to get called for an interview for Forbes. Uh, fairly quickly. I mean, it, it's worth taking a look at this newsletter to see, and then you can see, wow, there's there's Forbes here, there's, uh, you know, Parade, there's, uh, you know, uh, Wall Street Journal, there's all these amazing publications that you could get on. And whether or not you want to try and outsource it to someone else, it's worth a try, and it's definitely worth a look. Yeah, that's great. So how does so how does it work? What kind of business owners do you work with? Give me kind of a lay of the land. Is there a specific industry or niche, or are you agnostic? Like, give us a little feel for your program. Um, well, we work with people all over the place. The important thing to us is that they are a good fit for uh, help a reporter out outreach. You know, we we like to work with people who have the right title, like a CEO or a business owner. But you'd be surprised how flexible that that can be in reality. You know, there's opportunities. Uh, out there for anyone to contribute pretty much. Um, the only spaces we don't really work in are, are you know, CBD uh, gambling type of niches. I would say say most of our clients fall between they're either um, marketers working for clients, they are people who own uh, what we call affiliate sites is another big one where, you know, they're writing content and trying to get people to click on the ads or purchase things uh, through Amazon. Big space we work in is, is in the SaaS space, so that software as a service. A lot of software providers like to work with us, and they're a good fit because lots of opportunities to talk about tech. Um, and there's we have a lot of clients in the fitness space as well, lots of fitness opportunities. And then, of course, we just we have a few general uh, larger scale enterprise clients. But it's it's quite all over the place. Oh, that's awesome. And then, um, so how does it work? So a client, just t- if you could just take me through the kind of the user journey, because I know a lot of times when people hear something like, oh, that's a good idea. But then, you know, if they're thinking, okay, it's one more thing to add to my marketing play, like, let, tell us a little bit more about the user journey. So you sign up a new client, um, what happens next? Yeah, so we, we, you know, after I get done speaking with somebody, we'd make sure they're subscribed to help a reporter out. 
Um, and then they would fill out an onboarding survey with us that gives us a lot of background on the person and, and, and you know, you can share content that you've created, uh, topics you like to speak on, what you don't like to speak on, and that will let our team know what to look for when we go through the Help Reporter Out newsletter and also how we can craft, our professional writers can craft a pitch to a journalist for you. Um, we like to make the process uh, basically 100% hands-off because we know if somebody's paying money to have their marketing done by someone else, that means they are short on time. So we, we like to make it very uh, hands-off in that way. But that's pretty much it. After we get those things, we, we start doing outreach and then alert our clients when we get a win, um, and you just pay for, for the wins you get. That's it. Uh, there's no there's no retainer or anything like that. That's awesome. Well, um, I, I think it's a great service. I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, so, Morgan, if somebody is listening to this and they want to learn more and they want to follow up and connect, um, what's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, if anything, uh, just give our website a visit. It's jollyseo.co. So that's J-O-L-L-Y-S-E-O dot C-O. So it's not a dot com. Uh, one thing I'd recommend is always get a dot com, and we're going to do that. But right now it's a dot co. Uh, and then you can go on there and just book a call with one of us. Check out the website. Like I said, you should also so just subscribe to help a reporter out yourself and and check it out. It could be the best two hours you spent in marketing for yourself, or you'll just decide you want to outsource it. So either way. Fantastic. And we'll put all that information in the uh, in the show notes so that our audience can just head on right over um, by clicking on the link. And speaking of the audience, if this is your first time working with um, or listening to Mission Matters or the platform, we're all about bringing on entrepreneurs, executives, and experts and having them share their expertise, their business, what they're doing, what, what we can learn from that, and really, you know, what we can all gain as marketers from that information. If that's the type of content or information that you're into, hit that subscribe button because we have many more mission-based individuals coming up on the line and we don't want you to miss a thing. And Morgan, really, it has been a pleasure. Thanks again for coming on the show. Yeah, thank you, Adam.